I just thought of doing this video quickly on the fly um, I'm not using any screen capture software and sorry about it, it's a little bit shaky just wanted to get this video quickly few months ago I had this Windows 10 update and after that the hibernation standby everything stopped working and what will happen is that every time it will go to standby mode and when I try to start it again it will restart it will not go to restore from the standby so every time it was restarting and all of my open applications were closing and I had to reopen it again so it was not storing the standby or hibernation I did a lot of research on internet and there were a couple of suggestions but none of them worked so uh, then I tried to follow a few things and it worked and I'm going to show you step by step uh, what you have to follow and if you follow those three or four steps it's 100% it's going to work so let's get started search in google for your asus laptop model and their driver so i'm here in the asus driver page so here uh, it shows me two options and this is a little bit confusing you have to select the right one and if you do not select the right one it's not going to work you can open the system information and it will be right here uh, mentioned that the it is core i5 4210u and that 4210u is here what you have to select so i have the 4 xxxu not the 51 so i'm going to select this and then you need to select the right operating system and most of the time you are selecting windows 10 64 bit and then it's going to give you a list of updates so what we are looking to update here is the bios and the chipset bias here is the chipset that we are going to download so download that in the other section you have to download this intel r management engine components so in intel management engine that one you need to download and you have to download this bias whatever the latest one for your um, laptop and also you need to download this BIOS utility so Windows BIOS flash utility so this makes your life easier so I'll show you once you download this so once you download this go to win flash first thing is you need to run this setup and install it once you install once you install open the win flash so here is the wind flash screen and then you have to also extract the so here is my bias so it's going to show you this file here once you go through the wizard it's going to you're going to select get bias from device and it's going to open up this explorer where you can select the bias that you have and what is going to do is since I have my bias already updated I'm not going to go through it again and it's going to automatically restart your laptop and then it you will automatically remove your old bias and replace it with the new one and it's it will everything will happen automatically and you it will restart your laptop so once it restarts you can again come back to the system information and verify there will be a new bias updated here so it's going to show you here your new bias information here is the bias version date is going to show you the new bias version here and once that is done what you have to do is you have to update the chipset 
so you're going to the chipset and then you need to run this setup and once you complete the setup it will give you a successful message and it will ask you to restart your laptop and once it is done your chipset will be updated now the uh, the last one that you have to do to get this thing resolved is to download the MEI uh, Intel uh, file and extract it and then run this setup and it, you have to go through this setup install this driver new driver and once you install it restart and everything will work once you update uh, Intel management engine interface uh, MEI uh, then you can go and verify in the device manager under system devices you will see the MEI and then you can open this to verify the details driver and it will show you the new driver version uh, so that you know that it has been updated and once you do all these steps it's going to work like a charm so i have done these three steps and everything started working now on my um, standby hibernation everything works all of my open application comes back when i um, open my laptop again from standby so I have the laptop set up as when I close my lid, my laptop goes to standby. I have plenty of application that I open. I work with lots of browser and things like that. And uh, then I open it back and it comes back not, and it will not restart. So that's how the entire problem got resolved. And also you can do on additional steps is that um, you can download the asus live update uh, from the same page and then you can run this setup again for asus live update what it will do is it will install this live update and as you can see here is automatically check for updates and if there are any updates further it's going to update that for you automatically